Hello, and welcome to another one of my 6th edition Tyranid videos. Uh, today, I'm going to save you money. Okay? Spore mine clusters are the cheapest unit in the game. And I mean that in every sense of the word. They're 5 points each in the game. And also, my spore mines, now that I have about 30 of them, are basically a pebble glued to a flocked base. You can't get cheaper than that. It's basically a free figure. And since spore mines don't come in large packets out there, you just call it a conversion. I guess you just have to make sure it's a GW base. Maybe GW flocking. I don't know. But I took uh, the colored pebbles from that you see at the bottom of fish tanks, your, your standard fish bowl, the bright green, blue, purple ones, orange ones, and just whoop, might put that on a base. 30 spore mines. Hello. Save you money. And what GW player doesn't like to do that? Now, as for their efficiency at killing things in the game, one of the big problems and complaints that I hear a lot of people talk about gene stealers and other deep striking units, which I use a lot of, is that they're going to land and you're going to get shot up on the turn that they come in because they can't assault. True if you're not smart enough to protect them. Spore Mines is that protection. Spore Mines end up being a strength 9 or a strength 10 blast with a full unit, and we're going to talk about that later. But since they also deep strike, and you have so many different ways of deep striking without deviation and comms relay re-rolling your reserve rolls means that you're probably going to get the Spore Mines in when you want them, where you want them. At the same time that your other infiltrating and deep strike units come in too. This is how I protect my gene stealers. Three full units of spore mines coming in at the same time that my gene stealers come in and my uh, other deep striking units, uh, Molochs, come in and everything like that just adds three more units that a person has to decide are you going to target these guys or not? And before, you would think, yeah, well, okay, whatever. It's a strength 4 blast. Who cares? They're not getting targeted. But when there's a chance that it's a strength 9 or a strength 10 ordnance blast covering you, you start thinking, am I going to target these guys? And the answer is usually yes. It's usually yes because since they don't deviate, I definitely put them closer. And in between uh, my other infiltrating and deep striking units. This is also cool because remember what happens when you fire through an intervening unit. Five plus cover save. It's true. So, they're useful in that. Now, here's another thing about spore mines which has also caused some arguing in the game that I'm in. But, um, you have to point it out. Spore mines don't assault. And on, that's important in both ways. At first, you're just thinking, oh, okay, I don't assault with them, which is true. But more importantly, it also means they can't be assaulted. Read the rules. It's going to say that instead of being insulted, spore mines detonate at initiative 10. Not as an attack. They just detonate. And this came into a play into play when a clever Eldar player learned the hard way, and he assaulted my spore mines with his howling banshees, thinking, "Ooh, I'm so smart! I'm gonna say, I'm gonna scream at them. Their initiative, no, no, no. They aren't assaulting you. They're not attacking you. They're just blowing up when you get close." So it's still, in, and that effect simply goes off at initiative step 10. So, as he blew up his whole unit, I had to explain that to him. They weren't happy about it, but it says it very clearly under the spore mine rules. They don't assault. They just detonate. And thank you for running into me. That was very 
kind of you. It's that was me being kind of a dick, but I found it funny. Um, so they they just blow up. And here's here's the thing when I was saying about strength nine or strength ten. Now, this is the problem when you have a company that has a bar in their headquarters. Okay, so GW, word of advice: stop writing rules at Bugman's. Okay, it's not funny anymore. The rules say this. <clears throat> It's a strength for attack, and then you add one strength for every additional spore mine in the unit, up to strength 10. Now, I realize that the smeg heads at GW are all closet geniuses, but let's, let's do the math here, okay? Uh, you have a maximum size of six spore mines, and a strength four attack and you would think hey six plus four that's ten that makes sense to me that's how you get the strength ten okay you add six to the four yes now what the hell does additional mean okay does that mean you don't count the original spore mine because in that case it's five plus four and that's nine which one is it Good question. I think since they specifically say um, it maxes out at strength 10 and they took the time to write that, it meant uh, you count the first one. Of course, somebody else can say, no, it's additional. And I'm like, okay, then in that case, wow, uh, it's time for some basic math classes at GW. Your choice. I think we need an FAQ on that. Either way, it's a strength nine. So, so still pretty good for me. The, the spore mines then, as I said, are the most efficient unit in the game. Monetary-wise, because you can almost essentially build them for free. Point-wise, because they're five points each. And strength-wise, in terms of damage that a unit can dish out, for five points, a spore, uh, each, a spore mine cluster is the hardest hitting unit in the game that I've been able to find. Combine that, like I said, with the non-deviation and all of the ways you can bring them in from reserve on the turn two. They are an incredibly useful unit. They keep my gene stealers alive. They keep pretty much any unit that I don't want to be targeted on the turn that they come in alive. They give, uh, as I said, the intervening unit cover save, also useful. Um, I think they're a great unit. And, and if you're a little crunched for money in buying your Tyranid army, and suddenly you want to say, hey, I'm going to fill out my entire fast attack slot, with uh, spore mines, there you go. Why not? Why not? I mean, if you don't have enough models and you, and and everything like that, boom, spore mines, fast attack, and fast attack is like the least used uh, units in the Tyranid army. Y you have the extra fifty points, boom. Fill it up with spore mines. It's a good way to go. I hope you like it, and I hope you're looking forward to my next video. Thank you.